this engine's at the stage now where it's, it's basically it's nearly finished and I've got some of the nice bits to put back on some of the more ornate little pieces this is a little catch tank it catches any condensate from the cylinder drain valves anything that comes down here it's a nice little cast and it's not just a, a bit of tin That goes on there, and then there's a, a brass plate that goes on top of there to hide it all. Or at least to contain any. So when I was taking this off, I never thought I'd actually get it back together. But it's sort of, it has done not too bad. I should have put that bit in first. I'm going to give it probably will take it back the bits again. All this does is catch any water that drip drops into your water and it goes into that little catch tank. I've just used a wire wheel to clean these up on a, a grind or nothing. Spectacular and I'll probably end up giving them a nice little polish. Right, so that goes like that, and that went on there, on there like that, somehow. And it does actually all fit together. <laughs> Look at the bastard thing. There he is. <clears throat> I'm going to try and get this screw. It's going to fight to the last, this bastard thing I can tell. Right, Johnny. There's a nut, there's an olive inside of there, and there's obviously a, you make, you make a pipe to go away down into the, to drain it where you want to drain it to. Oh, my bastard thing. Right. Then there was two drains off these two valves. So how are they? It's obviously the, the top one, it's the longest one of the two. It's possible these are getting bent and damaged. But I don't think so, I was quite careful. I I took them off. That one sort of fits like that. Then this one sort of doesn't fit anywhere. Oh, it does sort of fit like that. I want a little bit of a tweak in with that. Not a million mile away. Right, and there's this little bit here, which is a little collector pot, 
which collects any condensate from there and runs that into that tank. This is real attention to detail stuff this. Fastens onto there. Little brass cup has been riveted on as well. Put one into there. Not fits onto there. That's really, it is nice that, I like it. Just stops any shite and condensation from dripping everywhere. But I don't need to sort these two out. I'm not pleased with the shape of them at all. They're nearly there but they're not quite, they're not quite right. Those two. They only need a little. Blank and plug to go in there. 15 mil should do it. Bit of brass ball get out of that. Just run the lathe for a second or two, slowly to get some oil around the headstock. Been standing for a few years. So I want four mil off that. tight fit used to be a brass plug and a cup on his head, mini cup on his head, something like that, and he used to drop below the surface, he used to take them out and drill a hole in them, take them out, silver swirl them up and then hammer them to flatten them out a bit and then knock them back in and they were that sort of fit like that. I'm 
and if you want that out you just drill a hole and then pull it out it's just a blank where the cross shaft goes in for the oil pump drive gear it had like a little brass core plug type thing in there but that'll that'll do for that I know it'll be the next person to remove that these clamped down bolts were always temporary the viewers actually sent us in some nice square headed ones oldest ones I think or a telegraph pole but they certainly look better than those put some there and put them in they hand forge heads on these ones They're just little things, but the little things that matter. It used to matter to me anyway. It's all going to come back to the base just to be painted up properly. Right, I'm sure they'll look more in coming than the big horrible galvanised ones. <laughs> 